joined by Jonathan Hall, Chairman of Manx National Heritage. We're talking about an uh, iconic thing that, uh, before we started, we were working out dates of this, and this is, scares me. We're talking about the Peggy. Um, this came and lifted out of Castle, its mm -hmm. original home, back in? 2015. My goodness. It's been a long time, hasn't it? It has, but there's, a lot, there's been a lot of work to do. Mm. And, and the, this, the reason we're doing these, you, you do the media circus today, is you know, going around all the media, talk about what's going to happen next. Because there has mm. been all mm. sorts of rumours flying, it's yeah. not going to return yeah. to cast down. Yeah. So let's deal with that one let, straight let, away. Let, yeah, let's, let's quash that straight yeah. away. So, so yeah, so the boat was taken out 2015 because the trustees at the time had to take Peggy out because there was... Uh, there was there was there was uh, wood rot. There was uh, the the iron fixings were rusting, and there was fear of high, of another year of high tides. So she couldn't stay in the dock where she was. Ah, uh, because those high tides, yeah, those really yeah, high ones yeah, were yeah, causing that, an issue. Absolutely, that, absolutely. So if she had been left where she was, that it, she would have been damaged, probably you know beyond repair. And we have to remember, this is such a unique find. Uh, ab it? Absolutely, so totally this, unique. So this boat is over two hundred years old. She's the only one surviving. She's the only oldest uh, schooner she's the oldest uh, boat with 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 this, with this shape of hull mm -hmm. uh, so she she is most definitely unique so going home but it hasn't gone home yet uh, has all the work been done no first, so yes yeah, so uh, so the so the initial uh, action was to make her safe then once and, and then it was a question of so what do we do with her uh, and what have we got to do with her before she can return to Castletown now it the one of the unusual things about about the Peggy is that she has iron fixing, so she has iron nails. The problem, the, and the problem, that's bad, is it? Because they must uh, absolutely. Right. So the bad is after two hundred years, they're a little bit fragile. Yeah. And the problem is, if you dry the wood out too quickly, they'll put too much pressure on the nails. Nails mm -hmm. will break. So that's why you know she has she, she has been in, in a safe environment and we've been extracting the moisture from the wood over that period of time. Well, we've been looking at the picture coming out. That was in itself was amazing. Yeah, what yeah. a what an effort to get that it, right because that couldn't absolutely. go wrong. Could absolutely, it? yeah, yeah. So yeah. moving on, yeah, we, we we have these shots now in storage or well, no, where you yes, work. Yes, yes, yes. So she's in an industrial unit off Cool Road. She's had over over a thousand visitors. Uh, since she came out, the, you know, she, mm. she came out of the dock in Castletown, uh, and you know, the, and if people want to see her, then it can be arranged. This all sounds expensive uh, to to do all mm. the work necessary. Mm. I'm, I'm guessing you don't really have a budget necessarily for this project, uh, do you? No. So, so in 2015, the uh, the trustees had to buy the industrial unit to put her into. Mm. So it was sort of a new build at the time, and that was I don't know three hundred thousand plus to buy the industrial unit. Wow. Uh, the friends very kindly helped help do some of the fitting out, uh, and then and since then there's probably not a it's not expensive to have somebody look after and and and, and extract the moisture. But obviously we're now getting to the expensive time. Oh, so, and it's just really the moisture that's not re restoring it in other ways. Or? Right. So there, there will be, yes. So there yeah. will be some work to do. Uh, uh, yeah, that's just to tidy things up before she goes back. I was speaking to to, to Chris there, who is the uh, mm -hmm. curator. Uh, he reckons probably three or four months' work to get her in a fit state to move back to Castletown. Um, if and when it gets no, not if when it goes back, sorry. <laughs> um, display wise, it will be very much accessible there, down there. It's a very and, small, and, tight and, unit, and, isn't absolutely, it? and that's I'm only going to do that, and that's and that's the problem. That's another challenge that, itself. Uh, absolutely. So, so the Peggy. I mean, she has to go back to that site because yeah. it's 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 okay. It's a very interesting boat, but it's much more than that because it's part of the George Quayle legacy, and that's part of the site, part of the history, part of the records. So she has to go back to that site. Now, the the advice we've had from the experts is well. Another unique thing is we, that we have the two masts, and again, which is unique. So quite clearly, the advice has been you've got to show her with the masts. Ah. Ah, uh, nah, that's right. not going to happen where so, she was, obviously. Uh, no, absolutely. Yeah. And the masts are eight metres plus. Right. So, and there isn't a building suitable either on that site or in Castletown where yeah. we could do that suitably. So it will have to be a purpose build. Now, there is a sort of stable yard next to, next to the Nautical Museum. And our plans would be, we've had outline drawings prepared, but the plans would be to have a purpose built you know, structure there that she can be displayed 
and people can walk around can look from from above from below back to the expenses i guess on this one then how are you going to finance this outside of your normal budgets? Are you looking for a benefactor or yeah, government? So, yeah, so, Everybody needs to check, so, which is not the best time. So, so at, at this stage, you know, ballpark figure, and it is a, a bit of a finger, finger in the air, mm. we think it may well be something in the order of five million. Now, that is a lot of money. Wow. But there's, there's obviously, apart from the conservation work, the construction work, it will have to be a purpose bit build. Uh, but there's all the other work to do in association with it because so there's all the, the research into the records to make sure that the story is presented properly. The Nautical Museum will need to be, will need to be changed and be revo- mm. to be revised as well. Again, so that it's all put in, it's all put in that context. So benefactor. So, so uh, the trustees' reserves, uh, this is in the, in the public domain, are about three and a half million. So does that come from government, or is that also no, that's, donations? That's, that's and donations. Bequests. So that's so that's donations. Oh, okay. Yeah. So that's donations. So some of that is restricted. So somebody has donated it and have said, provided you use it for this. So that's a million that we couldn't use for this. Yeah. So that leaves us with two and a half. Now we have a list of it's a page and a half of commitments where we have to where where we're looking to well, where we have to pay money or we've agreed to pay money. So for example, repairs to the Laxey wheel. Now, if we didn't do that, there might be a few people upset. And that came out of nowhere, didn't it? It's, it's well, absolutely. Yeah. Sort of, re- yeah, yeah, repairs. So that's that's you know that's the budget's going out the window straight away when they see well, that. Well, well, I mean, so to do to the, repair the Laxey wheel and, and to and painting is more than just painting because again that helps the, the structure. That's three quarters of a million pounds. Nothing's cheap, is it? So, <laughs> So, so, w- so we're looking for someone so, so, who so, wants so, to bequeath well, you yeah, yeah, a couple well, million quid. Well, bequeath. so, so. Uh, I mean, I mean. Let's let's be honest. Manx National Heritage is an independent charity, and we get a huge amount of our budget, seventy five percent of our budget, from the government, a grant from the government. So that's the revenue. The capital spend, which is what this would be, we you you know, like like everybody else, you have to make a, a pitch for that and present a business case. Yeah. And quite clearly, up to this over the last couple of years. The government have had, have had other things on their mind and other pressures on their budget. So it's a few. So it just it, yeah. has, it hasn't been the time to make that sort of bid. You know, it would be you know it's been emergency mm. bids only and best will in the world. This can't be an emergency. So at, so at some at, at some point in the future, and we do have a, n- a number of, of 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 other priorities. So for example, you know the, the reserves that we have are committed to the TT Gallery, which we hope to open next year. Uh, Thornbank, which is another Bailey Scott property, which you know, which we would hope to own. You know, that's been in, in in gestation for a long period of time. The work on that, but that's coming to fruition. Uh, so that, so, so all of that is going to take money, and Peggy sits behind it. So let's talk timetables then. Yeah. I mean, are we talking in this decade or? Or uh, we are talking in this decade, right? Yes. Yeah, to do yeah. that, that's what I was going to think because it yeah, yeah. by, doesn't it? Yeah. I mean, it's already been yeah. a long time since. The yeah, I, I, I know absolutely. So, in the in the uh, trustees' forward plan, the Peggy is sort of medium term, and what we cost short term is up to the end of our next tenure because we have a five year tenure, so that expires sort of this time next year. The medium term is in the next term, so our view would be, you know, we will be looking to have completed it before the end of the next term, so that's six years or something. That's the aspiration, but there is that big caveat. There's no way we could even come close to affording to be able to do it, so we do need money. Whether that's from, well, I think, I think, uh, a significant proportion of that is going to have to come from government, but then, you know, mm. could it be other benefactors, other donors. Uh, and let's talk about that. I mean, you. you People do donate money, as you just said, quite large sums sometimes when people pass on or want to make a donation. Um, do you have a little, sort of book with the sort of running details on, you give us this much, you'll get a plaque? Uh, or, uh, or, uh, I mean, we, does it work like that? Or am I we, being naive? We, we don't actually, and to be honest, <laughs> you know, uh, and our larger donors want to remain anonymous, mm. which, oh. which is interesting. You know, yeah, it's, yeah. Interesting. it's just sort of you know, a philanthropic thing to do. Uh, yeah, now that is, a, I think this. 
this project is such that it's so large that you know we would you know we're, okay. we're, it's early days but yeah. we'll probably have to think of you know special arrangements what i'm thinking is someone watching this now <laughs> Wants to pick up the phone or uh, that, write to somebody. Uh, uh, do they get in touch uh, with who? And <laughs> you, you, you say thank you very much. For it. You never know. I mean, yeah, yeah. To, to get in touch with anyone in particular, you. Uh, or what I would say address it to the chief executive at Max National Heritage. Yeah. yeah. Well, um, it's, it's it's such a I say. I mean, really, not one of a kind. I mean, this is the whole thing. This is this is something completely. Yeah, yeah and different. and it's 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 a wider example of heritage, really, because. The, the point about heritage is, once it's gone, you've lost it. You can't bring it back. Yeah. You know, if the you know sort of the castle, the castles that are, are, are in our care, uh, the, you know, the the the, 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 the Laxey Wheel. If we lose it, you ain't going to bring it back. So and with this one, I mean, it's okay in its industrial estate, but it clearly no, isn't the right context no, at all. Absolutely so. not. And it, and it would never, it, I, I, it yeah. would never be our intention to, to to do that. It needs to be back in Castletown, where it came from, so that it can be shown with with George Quayle's property and the dock, and you know, and 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 uh, in that environment.